Hi everyone, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf and I am back with some designs from TLC Creates Vintage. Once again, I apologize for the traffic. I think it's bike week and there's motorcycles driving by, driving me nuts. So I'll try to pause through the loudest bits when I can see them coming through my window. So first she is having this promotion where for whatever um, kit you purchase, you get a eight piece journal card set. So it's called Purple Posies and it's free and you can only get it when you purchase something from her shop. And it's good through tonight until 10 p.m. So you definitely don't want to miss this because I'm going to show you some different ways that you can use this kit instead of just using it as journal cards, which is fine, but there are other things you can do. So because her kits are so versatile, um, she sends them to you in individual files. There are different ways that you can use them. So I'm going to demonstrate a bunch of ways. So the first way is to print them out, you know, regular size like this. And you can back them onto coffee dyed paper, which I did with this one. And stitch all around, makes a great journal card for your pockets and whatever. The next size is small. Um, so these are three by two size. These will make great tuck spots or journal cards, or you can pin them to the top of a page. You can paper clip them, um, use them as decoration. So there's that. And the next size is about four by six. Printed two of them this big. And these are great to pin to empty pages like this for decoration and I am also going to fold this one and I'm going to stitch it and make it into an envelope so I'll be right back okay so I stitched along the sides with some purple thread and I'm gonna leave the strings because I like them so now you have a little envelope and you can tuck one of your little ones right in there Perfect. And you can clip it to your page like this. Should have brought paper clips, but I did not. So the next size is a five by seven. Printed it so it is a journal cover slash page. And even when you print it larger, the quality is still really, really good, which is something that I really love about Paulette's kits. And so then I stitched along it and I printed all of the cards bigger to make this journal so even fold it in half they're still beautiful and I just put um, hand dyed purple and blue papers in between there's the center it's not gorgeous this one so there we go. So I'm going to decorate a little bit. First thing I want to do is put some pockets on the inside and I am only going to use the purple posy journal kits or cards. So there's this one. Put some glue down the side. Normally I would stitch this but my machine is all the way upstairs. So I'm just going to put that here. Aileen's tacky glue works just fine. And let me see. I think I'll use this one for the back. Very small space to work in here. Alright, so then I want to, alright, I think I got everything now. So I want to take this plasticky, papery type ribbon that we never know what to do with, and I'm going to make a tab on this first page. And I'm just going to staple it. So there's that. 
And then I'm going to take actually one of the little 3 by 2 cards and fold that. And I'm going to ink it with my purple ink on both sides. And my little funky dabber here. And I'm going to make another tab with one of the journal cards themselves on another page down at the bottom. Make sure that you don't have two pages together. Okay, so we have two tabs here. I'm definitely going to add more. So I have this pretty blue piece. We'll cut a slice. Tabs are really easy and they add a lot of fluff and prettiness to your journal sides. And I love using them. And really, you can use anything you want as a tab. And I like stitching them, but I don't have my machine. And then I have this really pretty rose and embroidery ribbon. And instead of folding it, I'm just going to take it and staple it as is. So you way you have a big long tab. Okay, so I like that, but I think I'm going to add some more on this side later. And so for the inside, I do want to decorate a couple of pages with you. So I have these little um, cutouts that I made with my punch and I'm going to ink it. And first I'm going to take this sparkly fabric, cut off a piece and that will be my first layer. I'm gonna do it here at the top. I put this down, a little bit of glue. Then I'm just going to put some glue on the back, kind of a thin layer, and glue that over the top. Make sure it's straight. It's easier if I had hot glue, but I do not. Go upstairs. Hold that for a second. Then I have this really pretty rose trim and I'm going to put some right here as another layer. Also I like to add, um, sometimes I'll add washi tape as another layer of dimension. So I think I will. Don't think about it too much. Just lay your pieces down and it will come together. And so if I had a button or something, I would put it right here, which I should have brought. Okay, so that's one page, and then I think I'm going to take one of her cards here that I printed in the 4x6 and make a flip. So I'm going to use this Tim Holtz um, measuring tape washi. It's one of my favorites. And find the end here. And I'm just going to make sure it's straight. And attach it. Fix this piece. Nope. Need another one. That's all right. And I do like that ripped look, so I'm going to push this down really, really good. Then I'm going to open it and put some on the other side. Push that down. And then if I had my sewing machine, I would have um, stitched some lines here for like hidden journaling space. But I do not, so there's a little flip. I wish I had brought paper clips. Oh, I have these. Um, these are also from TLC Creates Vintage. They are called 
Fabulous you. That's what they are. And there's a bunch of positive affirmation cards. These are just a few. I like the colors. They kind of match. So I wanted to put some on my pages. So I'm going to ink and I'm going to glue one. At an angle. I like that. So there's one and then back here I'll put another but this time I'm going to use washi tape and I have this washi skinny washi that has little flowers so take off a piece and washi tape this on okay that's all right I guess <laughs> Um, what else? So, oh yes, here in the pockets, I'm going to put this coffee dyed one. No coffee dyed in the back. There's that. So, this is just a demonstration to show you how you can use these. Um, it's a little bumbly, but I'm not used to giving tutorials yet. But, as you can see, you can print her cards at any size you want, and they will always be beautiful and clear. So if you don't want to miss these gorgeous um, these promo cards. Alright, so there's that one. And then I also wanted to show you that you can mix and match her kits. So for instance, in here I just have this cardstock cover. And I used her Purple Passions kit. And I want to show you how well these purple posy journal cards go with it. And they're just beautiful and you can clip them anywhere. You can make them into pockets, of course. So you could go purchase this kit and then you'll get these free and then you can put them together. And I just have some hand dyed paper. So I'm going to put a few tabs on this one as well. Very simple journal, writing journal. You can mix and match a lot of her kits, especially the vintage ones. Um, let's see. Do you want one up here? So whichever car um, kit you decide to purchase, Purple Passions, um, The Fabulous You, it doesn't matter. You will get these beautiful posy, purple posy cards or free and you don't want to miss out on getting these because you can make a journal from them and it's so much fun so I will finish decorating these and they will be in my shop I'll also have listings for custom order ones if you want one and yeah, that's it I think so make sure you go to TLC creates vintage and purchase one of her amazing kits and then you will get the free promo cards until 10 p.m. tonight you have so I will see you in the next video. Thank you.